Any man or woman in Ireland would love to have a herd like that. Look, there's a bull over there. Ah, and a prize bull at that too. You know, in Ireland long ago, people used cattle like we use money today. And a bull like that one would have been worth a great deal. Maybe even enough to fight a war over. Who'd want to fight over a bull? Well, long ago in Ireland, there was a queen in Connacht, and nothing would satisfy her until she owned the famous Brown Bull of Cooley. Go to the far mountains of Cooley in the province of Ulster, and see this bull for yourselves. And if you judge that he is as mighty and majestic as everyone says, speak to the man of Ulster who owns him, saying that I will buy this bull from him for a handsome price. When the warriors saw the brown bull of Cooley, they could hardly believe their eyes. It certainly was the finest bull in Ireland, and they knew that Maeve would have to own it. But no matter what offers they made to the farmer, he refused to sell. I'll have that bull, and all the armies of Ulster will not stand in my way. And so it was, the greatest saga in all the old stories of Ireland came to pass. When Queen Maeve raised her army against the forces of Ulster and the cattle raid of Cooley. And it wasn't only military might she mustered. Oh, no. You should have no problems getting the bull. My magicians are putting together a charm that will send the armies of Ulster into a deep sleep. As luck would have it, the sleeping spell didn't affect Cahullin. Because, if you remember, he wasn't really from Ulster. He came to Ulster to become a warrior. And now he was to defend the brown bull of Cooley against Maeve's army. We are enchanted. All except for me. We'll just have to see what magic I can summon up in return. And so there was Cahullin, running and harassing the advancing army by setting traps, pits for the chariots to fall into, scattering the horses when they come to me. You mean to tell me that one warrior, one warrior is holding up a whole army? This is no ordinary warrior, my queen. This is Cúhollán, the Hound of Ulster. He was taught the arts of war by Skahach, and he has the power of magic and enchantment. Is there no one who can remove this pest? Leave me and return to your army. <laughs> You have tried military might. You have tried magic and enchantment. But I know how you will defeat this Cúhallan. Tell me, how may I have done with this pest? Let me just say that for a warrior like Cúhallan, honor is everything. And all warriors are vain. Make them jealous, and they will fight anyone for their honor. Even their own blood brother. <laughs> I must stay awake and do my best to keep the army of Connors at bay. Ah, it's a cruel destiny that has brought me to this. Just a short sleep. And even as Maeve was plotting Cahollin's downfall, the great god Lu came to help him so that he could have some rest. But this war wasn't over yet. The brown bull of Cooley was still not safe, and time seemed to be running out for the Hound of Ulster. Did Maeve get the bull, Grandad? What was the plan she had for getting Cahullin? Did he die? Uh, uh, I feel a bit like Cahullin myself now. I'm getting tired. Oh, it's a long story, this one. One of the longest there is. Let's take a wee rest. Look, even the bull's feeling tired. <laughs>